Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I've been in anorexia recovery for a year now. And for today's video, I thought we could do something a bit different and actually talk about my view on calories on menus as someone who has an eating disorder. Now, a little bit of backstory. I did my English oral speech. So basically we have GCSEs and you have to do a segment as part of the language GCSE on um, an oral, so a speech of your choice. Like you have to deliver a talk and as I said, it has to be like in regards to a question and or like a topic or something like that. It's basically a topic you feel like, like an issue you feel like you can address in like five to 10 minutes, you know, have your say and your like angle on this statement. That was such a long winded way of saying it. But basically for my English, geez, my English language, you do this in year 10, well at my school you did it in year 10. And a lot of you know that I haven't been in school for ages. And at this point I was just discharged from hospital and stuff like this. So I wasn't there in like the classroom to deliver a speech to my classmates. And I did mine on calories on menus and I actually videoed it because I wasn't there. And I'm in two minds whether to show you this video because obviously this was at a time where physically and mentally I was doing really, really badly. I was at rock bottom and you know, I just like, I was very vulnerable, I guess, like at this point, I just don't know. So I might just read it out instead. Um, Cause I've still got like the word document of what I wrote. And obviously my standpoint on this is still the same. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let's, let's get into it. just go for it as I said it's on calories on menu let, actually let me give you a bit of a bit of a lowdown on calories on menus honestly I am gonna get so fired up about this right so where do I even begin I'm gonna read it out because I don't want to like you know I want to get the facts right labeling calories on menus is basically some a new legislation that businesses must um follow if they employ 250 or more staff and it came into force on in England on the 6th of April 2022 and that was literally I think that was the yeah that was the day I went into hospital it says under the rules venues must display calorie counts clearly and prominently at the point of choice typically a menu along with the statement that adults need around 2,000 calories a day calorie information will need to be displayed at the point of choice um, such as physical menus, online menus, food delivery platforms and food labels. The measures which form part of the government's wider strategy to tackle obesity will help to ensure people are able to make informed, healthier choices when it comes to eating out or ordering takeaways. Okay, now let me read you my talk. I changed the angle slightly because I can like look better. <laughs> but okay, let's go. Picture this. It's Friday, finally, and after a busy week at school, geography field trips, athletics and detentions. This week, you are finally especially ready for a finger licking feast with friends. You bag see the best booth, sit down and strap yourself in with a napkin, ready for an evening of indulgence. You're so hungry, you could eat an elephant. Your eyes devour the menu and you're constantly enchanted by the heavenly hot dog and of course a side of cheeky cheesy chips. They were just calling your name. It would be rude not to answer. But something breaks your reverie. Something unfamiliar, something mentioned on a news feed, elusive intruders trying to gate crash your party. Of course, I mean calories on menus. So why are we now given this math lesson on a menu? April 2022, calories now appear on menus in large restaurant chains, the government's initiative to tackle obesity. Great, huh? In the government's eyes, this will help people make informed, healthier choices when eating out or ordering takeaways. So why am I wasting my time fighting against helping people eat better? A calorie is a unit of energy. More precisely, the energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water through one degree Celsius. It is not measure of nutrition, 
and its presence has been has actually been seen to encourage unhealthy relationships with food. Okay, and now your turn. I want you to think why you choose to eat out for 10 seconds. I'll start. A once a week treat, a chance to socialise, the experience, ease, celebration, a chance to try something new, a carefree evening after long hard days ticking off your to-do list, to name just a few. The significance of calories on menus now means that when you are ordering food you may feel pressured to become calorie conscious and start to lack enjoyment when you term your take out treat. This should not be the case. Take someone, let's say Ed. When ordering food, they now feel obliged to choose the healthiest option, the one with the lowest calories. It is no longer a choice over what they fancy. The choice has been made for them. The overwhelming pressure to be good when faced with these numbers now means the enjoyment is outweighed by the torment. So eating out is no longer an option. This is the case for many. These numbers on menus means social isolation, distress and discomfort for Ed. So who is Ed? Ed, eating disorder. Ed is 1.25 million people in the UK. Ed is being people shunned into the shadows with over 70% unable to seek help. For an Ed with anorexia, the new legislation of calories on menus is making eating out impossible. As when faced with the choice of what number to pick, the monster controlling them inside consumes all their free will. Eating out is a hard but important milestone in recovery, which has now got 10 times harder. We don't need government to tell us pizza isn't diet food. This isn't Weight Watchers, this is a meal out with friends. There is no evidence that calories on menus will improve obesity rates. But there is an evidence suggesting their presence exacerbate, exacerbate, <laughs> I can't say that word, exacerbate, exacerbates, exacerbates eating disorder of all kinds. But there is evidence suggesting it can trigger excessive, ex <laughs> but there is evidence suggesting it can trigger excessive calorie counting. Restaurants researching the calories in a tiny teaspoon of tartar is costing billions of pounds. There, there is a national crisis within services for eating disorders. Money well spent. I just ask you to remember Ed. I hope I have given you food for thought. So yes, guys, that is my speech. And just a reminder that copyright is illegal. Mine has already been submitted last year, so you won't get very far because mine's already been submitted. But yes, guys, that is my speech. Oh my gosh, this has just brought a whole nother anger to me, reading it again, not with my speech, but with just calories on menus. It drives me insane. Obviously, I'm part of the ED community because I have anorexia and if and I encourage you to look at this issue through the eyes of someone who has an eating disorder and, you know, what challenges it may bring for them when they're presented with a menu with like calories on it. For you, it might not be a big issue, but like for say for me, like it is a huge issue and it really, really affects like what meal I choose when I go out and even if I go out because sometimes that number is just it just you know it just stops me from going because I just can't like anorexia just won't let me and like yeah as I said in my speech um eating out is such an important step in recovery and it has just made it so much harder okay <laughs> gosh it's just it just annoys me. I think B actually, B, the ED charity in the UK has actually been campaigning against calories on menus. Um, and I think in Scotland, I'm not 100% sure, they have actually managed to get them off the menu, which I think is amazing. But in terms of calories on menus, like, I just want to say that, like, I don't think the act of putting a calorie on a menu, you know, I don't think it shouldn't be allowed. I think, you know, if you want, if that if you would find that helpful for you, then I think you should ask for that. Like, I don't think it should be given. I think when you go to a restaurant, you should ask for the calories on the menus. Or I know ZZ's on their website, they have a little toggle, so you can toggle it um, on or off if you want the calories. But even, like, for me, I do find that, you know, really tempting to just put the toggle on. But at least it's a step in the right direction. Um, but yeah, I just think that it would be so much better the other way around. So if you went into a restaurant and you asked for the menu with the calories on, instead of being given with them, 
um, many with calories on and I know you can ask for one without calories but once you've seen the calories it's too late you know what I mean like like for someone who has anorexia from my experience when you see those numbers it's already starting ruminating you know anorexia is already making choices for you and you know you can't unsee it once you've seen the number you know like if I see a, like a number on a menu outside a restaurant when I'm about to go in, it, it might like, you know, it's before now, it's like stop me from going in because I just can't do it. It just makes it so much harder. And, you know, although it's important to, you know, fight anorexia and all this sort of stuff, calories on menus is just making it harder. It's not, it's not helping with the fight. And I think fighting anorexia is already so difficult. It doesn't need that extra layer. And I think, like, what kind of upsets me quite a lot is that, you know, of course, obesity is the aim of this. And I just don't think that the eating disorder community or anyone really, because I was speaking to my sister like that, about this, and she was, and other people who don't have eating disorders, and even they struggle with it, it does affect their choice too. And I just want to emphasise how eating out is supposed to be something that is enjoyable you go out um you don't go out every day you go out for a special event or a celebration you know it's not supposed to be you know choose the lowest calorie event it's just not that like and also like like you know you want to have what you want you don't go out every day and i think that there is nothing wrong that like it's part of balanced diet and there's nothing wrong with going out for a meal you know once in a while like i think it's just it's just not about you know what the calories are it's just that's not you know that's not relevant i would say um in that situation like when you're having a meal out with friends it's just not relevant to know how many calories in it from my experience like of course if you're going out every single day for every single meal maybe it would be but i think when you just go out occasionally in my experience if you're eating a balanced diet it's just not it's not you know it's not relevant and another angle that also really annoys me is that um calories as i said in my speech like they're not they don't mean anything um because they're so out of context like calorie is energy and if you theoretically if you choose a food or a meal or whatever with high calories then you're just going to have more energy you know what i mean like i just don't diet culture has demonized the calorie and when we reevaluate this the calorie is actually you know it's necessary because without any calories you will die you know that's the whole thing with anorexia like you know you you are effectively starving yourself and you're effectively dying like i'm sorry to be blunt about it but like like that's the thing like you know diet culture obviously anorexia isn't just you know, fueled by diet culture is a coping mechanism. I could do a whole nother video on why, you know, it's so much more than food. Like, you know, just put that to one side. But I'm kind of just saying that like, why in our kind of society is calories seen as something that's bad when you need energy and you need food to live? I think you need a certain amount of calories for, you know, your heart to keep beating and your brain to keep functioning. You know what I mean? Like obsessing around the calorie when calorie is a unit of energy and treating it like it is like it measures how bad or good or how healthy or unhealthy a food is it just to me feels like the whole is educating people in the wrong way that's how I feel about it and I think you know for me in terms of the obesity argument I would say you know the government's obesity kind of standpoint on this I would say that maybe educate people you know how like what's a balanced diet and actually reinforce that you do need a certain amount of calories a day not 2000 because that just meaningless everybody's different but you need you know you need a certain amount of calories and it varies between day to day like if you do more exercise if you do less you know like what your body needs and listening to that they should listen to their body but also you know eat a balanced diet i think that's really important and a balanced diet means you eat fats and sugars like no one told me this, but like, you know, we demonize this food, but effectively they're essential for, you know, functioning. Like in a balanced diet and you have that like eat well plate, like you need, you need fats and carbs. Like, 
you know? <laughs> like, I just think that you've got the whole calorie situation out of perspective. Like, like just what's healthy, what's unhealthy, you know, all this. It's just, it's just not true at the end of the day. And that's kind of my view on it. I've been talking for quite a while on this, but I just want to kind of pick out a few bits from that speech to kind of reinforce. Yeah, I would really encourage you to share this with like any clinicians or anyone you think who might benefit from this video because, you know, we want to spread the word and we want to spread awareness about this topic. So yeah, I'm just going to pull out a few kind of facts that, you know, this is the first time I've read it since I wrote it and since I filmed that video that I submitted um, to the exam board. Um, so yeah, I'm just quite, I'm actually quite proud of myself when I wrote this. Let me just pull out some facts. 7.8% of people worldwide have an eating disorder. 1.25 million people in the UK. 70% unable to seek help. And calorie is a unit of energy. More precisely, the energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water through one degree Celsius. And I think one of my favourite kind of things is we don't need the government to tell us that pizza isn't diet food. This, is, this isn't Weight Watchers, this is Meal Out With Friends. And I think that kind of encapsulates the whole issue. Like, as I said at the start of this video, like eating out is supposed to be enjoyable. It's not supposed to be a calculator game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, I'm just quite passionate about this issue. I just really hope that in the future, you know what I mean? Like things will be looked at from lots of different perspectives i think i think there's just so little research that's gone into calories on menus before it was implemented and i think that's really damaging for a lot of people but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a massive thumbs up subscribe if you're new and yeah, I'll see you very soon for a brand new video. But in the meantime, you can listen to my podcast at Rachel's Radio on Spotify or Apple and follow my Instagram. Um, and yeah, I'll see you very soon for a brand new video.